What's going on you guys? Drayski back with another video, bro. Welcome to the new year. This is 2021. We starting the new year off right. We got a video today for y'all guys. It's January 1st. So let's get into it, bro. We got a center build. We got a brand new center build for NBA 2K21 next gen. I believe this here is the best center build in the game. Uh, I would, I'm with 611 with it. Minimum weight. Uh, seven eight on the wingspan, built of course, uh, because I don't like how any other body type look when you go lightweight. And then, yeah, that's what we got. So we get the seventy seven speed there, um, sixty two strength, which gets to a seventy. So, man, this build with it, it'll be nice. I'm telling you. So we going six eleven. All right. So what you want to do is we gonna max out everything here. And then we put a few, we put like one point, yeah, we put one point into close shot to get 24. Uh, max out these stats here, get 19. Um, after that, we gonna max out interior, perimeter, um, block, rebound. We gonna touch that a little bit more. I just wanna make sure I got the points real quick. So with the strength thing, I love what it, I maxed it out to a 62, so you can get the 70. Um, with the vertical, I went with 82 to get the 90 vertical. We're going to max out, well, not max, but let, let's, okay, so. Okay, so how I ended up doing it was max stamina, or a close to max. I think I did 91, and then you can put that there if you want to. Or you could put it here. Actually, I would put it here to get that extra bash. So 38 on that. And then uh, let's think about like you could really put like a point here and a point there. And then put like another point in the stamina. So this is this is the build here. So it's 24 finishing, 19 shooting, and 28 defensive we have no playmaking because i don't think that like you don't really need to be able to have playmaking as a center like you you could dominate without playmaking as long as your decision making is fine you should be good so um so this here we ended up having an 83 driving layup um 91 driving dunk 95 standing dunk you get a 92 post control which is important so that you could be able to move around in the post uh i like to have that 91 driving duck especially on a center build like this so you'll be able to catch bodies and stuff easy uh as well as having an 85 mid-range which is an 85 post fade uh you have an 82 free three-point shot with a 96 free throw and a 99 so you most likely be the best free throw shooter on the floor with this build as well as having an 88 interior and a 73 perimeter i think i usually like it to be at a five so i lowered this a little bit so i had 81 71 and then i think i max this out or i put more points into here and i think my stamina was actually at an 87 so that i could put more points into steel but you guys can do whatever you feel like is best. So let's see if I take these points away. Okay, so if you had a 60 steal, you end up getting Interceptor with a 62. So how I ended up doing it was I had a 60 with the 71 perimeter. So it, I have a 75 perimeter and a 99 and an 85 interior, which is better than most centers. Having a balance of both, as well as being able to get interceptor on go when you get to a 97. So at a 97, you'll have interceptor, which is nice to have. I, I would recommend having that badge on so you'll be able to have interceptor and yeah you got a high steal or decent steal 
good interior defense and perimeter defense. Uh, you have a very high block at a 95. So you have a 99 block with a 99 offensive and defensive rebound. So you could literally, you'll be an offensive and defensive nightmare on this build, as well as having, as well as having a 77 speed, which will get to an 85 and a 99 with Jim Rat. Um, a 70 strength and a 90 vertical which is insane on the center and vertical does help a little more with getting rebounds and being able to catch lobs so that's the reason why i'm starting to put vertical or more vertical on center builds because it, it, it seemed like they benefit from it a little more and the reason the 87 stamina was cool with me because with the plus five from i mean plus four from gym rat and being at a 99 you'll have a 95 stamina which is still higher than well that's pretty much where it was at last year before we even got gym rat so our stamina our stamina would be cool on the center build you should be fine and uh yeah that is the build there so let's move on to the next area so we get post scoring uh glass cleaning rim protecting and finishing so what i ended up going with was actually power back downs and finishing moves to create like a slash and post score build from 2k19 i really like having those two takeovers it made this build so cool to use and i was having a lot of fun on it because i was able to just when you get dual takeover it's pretty much so easy to score you can just throw people under the basket and then dunk on them every time so that's what i end up going with and you get a glass cleaning finisher uh shades of alonzo morning clink capella and yusuf nurkic so let's go into the test build and let's actually um add badges to this player so with this player i will have heat seeker gold of course y'all already know we got posterizer hall of fame lob city at least silver i would want slithery on this build just to be able to dunk so much easier I would want fearless finisher high to make sure that I make a lot of contested stuff in the in the paint. I want to make sure I'm making those. I want back down punisher high. I want to be able to throw people under the basket and, and do that easily. And then from that point on, um, you could really put that up to or keep you can keep one of these silver. You could probably lower this to silver. I don't know. I'll probably have a Hall of Fame though because you'll. Your weight is kind of low and your strength not super high. So I would kind of have that Hall of Fame. Um, and then I probably have like this here. And then uh, I don't even know what else I put on. Probably like put back boss or something like that. So put back boss on or actually put rise up on bronze. Do something similar to this. But um for the shooting definitely go catch a shoot corner specialist uh i would have fade ace hall of fame just because you have it uh because you got a decent post phase so i put that on hall of fame i put that bronze hot zone hunter gold uh hot shot probably gold and then this bronze and probably sniper bronze if you use shot aiming uh i like using shot aiming i use that now so I'll probably put this down a little bit and then put like blinders on. So you have like blinders go green machine or something similar to this. You could do, you kind of, you, if you want to, you can take fade days off and put this up and then put blinders on Hall of Fame. So you can do, do whatever you please there. And uh, with the defensive rebounding badges, we're actually gonna go with, this is my personal preference, like that rim protector high, like that rebound chase high. I would want this high as well. I wanna have interceptor on gold, chase on artist silver, box at least silver, uh, worm probably bronze, just cause I don't, it, it doesn't really work how it's supposed to. And then, um, hmm. From this point, I'd probably just put Brick Wall Hall of Fame, probably increase this to Hall of Fame, and then put 
I'll go stick silver, I guess. So something similar to this, or you can put like heart pressure on if you want to, like lower that, put heart pressure, like do whatever you please there. But yep, that's the end of the, that's, that's the build there. That's, that's the best center build in NBA 2K21 next gen. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, man. This, it took me a little longer to make it. Um, not gonna lie. I did come up with this build a couple days ago, but I want to see if it was really the best in my opinion. I feel like it is. So I wanted to release this for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And as always, no, wait. <laughs> he should have hit the like button.